Thanks for joining us here on Digital. I'm Bree Berry, and we are just putting together the many, many pieces of this case that started national with missing Austin mother Heidi Broussard and her three week old newborn daughter Margot Carey, and that has now ended up here in our very own backyard. So first we want to bring you to the latest news we have. Authorities now have a suspect, someone in court who appeared just a while ago, who you're seeing on your screen has been confirmed by authorities as a friend of Heidi Broussard. This is um, right now we have on the screen uh, Megan Fier Fieramuska. Now she, as I said, is a friend, has been confirmed as a friend of Heidi Broussard. She appeared in court um, to earlier today, she actually appeared in traffic court related to six traffic tickets from April of 2018, including expired registration, no driver's license, a number of things. She pled no contest and was found guilty. She was fined for all of them. Um, and that was what she was in court for you. So you're seeing her as she was in this red sweatshirt in the back of the courtroom. She stood up to speak to the judge. She didn't say much. She was pretty much quiet. At one point, we, you know, most of the time we saw her sitting down with her hands in her, her head in her hands. And at one point she did lean over to the woman next to her. They exchanged some words for a brief second. And she actually was laughing, smiling for a moment. Um, so that was her appearing in court. But we do know that the Harris County District Clerk's website shows that Megan Firmuska is being held in jail on three holds placed by the Austin Police Department, two kidnapping offenses, and one tampering with evidence, a human corpse. So that is the latest we have right now on her. And of course, we are waiting for more details to figure out sort of that friendship and relationship. But let's take it back. Let's go to this timeline that we have starting all the way in Austin Thursday, December 12th. That was a week and a day ago. Heidi Broussard and her three week old baby Margot Carey went missing from Austin. Now, Heidi was last seen on surveillance video dropping off her six year old son Silas at school. Then authorities believe she came back to her apartment with her newborn and then that's when they seemingly vanished. Now she had left her car at the apartment parking lot that was found by authorities. Authorities say she also left her purse, her ID and the baby's diaper bag, which of course seems very strange that she would leave those items back at the home when they were trying to figure out was this foul play? Was this her leaving on her own? You know, today we learned that authorities did say they immediately from the beginning, although they didn't let these details out in an attempt to keep Heidi and her newborn safe, they did say it immediately took them as foul play. The fact that a mother would leave one child behind and take one with her. That's just not typical of these types of cases. Now her fiance had reported her missing 730 that Thursday, nearly 12 hours after she disappeared. Shane Carey, her fiance and her parents did interviews and they said point blank that she would have never left her children behind and she certainly wouldn't have left without any letting anyone know. And her fiance had spoken out a number of times, very emotional, talking about his love for his wife and his newborn child. Let's take a listen. The more you think about it, the worse it gets. Broussard and her three week old baby Margot have not been seen or heard from since Thursday. The missing mother captured in this surveillance image, dropping off her son at an Austin school. Police say she later went to her apartment and never returned to pick up her son. Do you feel like she left on her own? No, 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 no. No way. She wouldn't she leave. Would not leave her son. Her kids are her heartbeat. Oh, yes. She wouldn't she have left on her own. Now the search for clues is entering a new phase. FBI agents going door to door, police not naming any suspects, saying they're operating on the assumption that Broussard is still alive. It's possible that, that Heidi and Margot have left on their own accord. To be honest, we don't know the answer to that question. Broussard's fiance, Shane Carey, reporting her missing hours after she disappeared, believing they were taken. There is nothing valuable missing. Uh, her purse and her wallet and everything was up here. Uh, her cell phone is missing. It's been turned off. And pleading for their return. I love you, Heidi. I love you, Margo. <laughs> Contact anybody if you see her. Just do whatever you can. We definitely appreciate it. Relying on their faith, 
Broussard's parents are praying for the moment they can embrace their daughter and granddaughter. No words. It'll just be heartbeats. <laughs> So, of course, that is now a little bit outdated. That was Marcus Moore, a reporter with Good Morning America, and he spoke to the family and the fiance. Um, you know, now that information, not all of it is up to date because we know there is so much more in this case now as it has been brought to Houston. But before, right before it made it to Houston, we watched as investigators, the FBI, Texas Rangers and Austin PD went door to door, knocking on neighbors homes, asking for if they had seen anything, asking to go into their homes and look around and also asking what type of make and model the cars that these neighbors were driving as they also reviewed hundreds of hours of video surveillance footage, not only from that apartment complex where Broussard was last believed to be have been with her newborn, but also video from neighboring businesses. And then we got that devastating news that the body was found in the back of a vehicle in a home or parked outside of a home in Northwest Harris County. That vehicle is registered to the suspect they now have in Houston court, Megan uh, Fier Fiera Muska. There we go. Uh, Megan Fiera Muska. So, um, you know, sh her vehicle that registered to her is the one that the body was found in. So we are waiting for aut the autopsy to be done and to have more details. The only slight of good news out of this heartbreaking situation is that a one month old was taken from that home where Broussard's body was found. It has not been confirmed yet if that is baby Margot Carey, Broussard's three week old newborn, but that baby was taken from the home alive. Firefighter said they took the baby then to the hospital to be looked over, but it seems as if the infant is in good condition. So that's the only thing we can hope out of this so far as you know, these devastating details come out. So here, as we wait for law enforcement to confirm more about Fear Muska and also these details of how Heidi Broussard gotten, got all the way to Houston, how this situation unfolded, um, we spoke to an expert, Beth Albert, and she, Alberts, and she is the director of the Houston Regional Amber Alert System. She is also the CEO of Texas Center for the Missing. So they work a lot of these cases, and she sees a lot of things that are connected about this case in particular. And what she notices when it comes to infant uh, abductions. Well, first, let's talk about when it comes to adults, it's very unlikely less than 1% when it comes to adults or infants that a stranger is the person who abducts these people and she said that was less than 1% so she said it's extremely rare it's typically someone who knows them now normally abduction cases it is normally a male however there is an exception and it is very fitting to the case here with Broussard and that is typically an infant abduction is done by a woman and she had some very interesting reasons as to why that could be let's take a listen the female either loses the baby to miscarriage or to death or something and then tries to replace that infant with another very young infant that she can uh, pass off on as her own uh, and that's an unfortunate scenario and, the, and it's a time at which the mother is most at risk so this fits very closely to this case with Heidi Broussard and her infant. Now, do we know all these details if they are exactly the case? No, we don't. We have not heard from Megan Firamuska here, minus that brief appearance she had in court that wasn't even yet related to these charges she is facing in this case. So we don't know the background with the details. We are working and waiting for authorities to give us more of a deep look into this situation. But a lot of what she said connects to this case, that it's typically a woman and it's a woman who has befriended the mother, someone who was there close, often during the pregnancy, and there is a sense of wanting this infant for themselves. It's called infant replacement, and it's it's interesting the way that it could apply to the situation, and I say interesting in a very devastating and tragic way, knowing that the mother is at risk, and in this situation, Heidi Broussard's body now has been found, and so two children and a family, a fiance without this mother, this wife, this fiance, this daughter, and it's heartbreaking that is 
come all the way here to Houston. So we of course are waiting for more of these details and we will continue to update you. More information from that expert that we spoke to is on our website at abc13.com along with a lot of other articles pertaining to past cases of child abduction, how those cases happened here in Texas, um, similar ones even recently as rare as these cases are. And we also have the timeline that we went over leading up to uh, Heidi Broussard's body being found here in Houston and plenty of information about the suspect they now have. And of course, we will continue to do our best to update you with all the details of this heartbreaking situation.